with Stompy Tutorials here. I'm at Ispo. It's a bit stressful here and I'm heading towards Armada now. We're at Armada and Andy here. He's going to tell us a bit about skis. Who are you, Andy? Uh, my name's Andy Hitchon, uh, engineer at Armada. Yeah, we've got a pretty awesome new ski for next year. It's the ARV 116 JJ. So this is kind of our new take on the JJ. Um, throwing it back to the original guy who bought the JJ, the guy who bought the ski because the tail was 10 millimeters taller than the shovel because he's landing jump switch. Uh, the guy who was skiing in powder, you know, really freestyly, pivoty, surfy uh, back in the day that now needs a new tool to do it. So we invented the new 116 JJ. So that's maybe for me. I think so. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Um, kind of cool features about it. I mean. When we started with the drawing boards, like how did we begin this ski? We went back to the original JJ and the Magic J for some design attributes. The, the kind of the angle in the shovel here is all based on Magic J. We wanted a little bit straighter, less less pointy because pointy will get deflected the opposite direction. So a little bit straighter lines here from Magic J. Um, the side cut, the rocker, really all improvements, updates on old Magic on old JJ. Uh, just trying to really get the camber dialed, the rocker dialed. It doesn't need as much rocker as previous years. The, the tip is soft, it swims, it floats up in the surface. Um, nothing too exciting. I mean, the graphics are rad, nasties. But what's the most exciting, coolest part is this 3D base. So 3D base tip and tail. What it allows you to do is kind of butter and surf and smear and just drag the tip of your ski crop sideways in the snow. But you've still got a full steel edge in there. So we put the edge kind of in a cool way inside of the ski, so you can see it, but it doesn't hook up with the snow. All right. Does, do you think this is stronger than the Ben Shetler, for example? I think it's more durable when you run into logs and twigs and things in the woods. Um, it helps maintain stiffness also, because you've still got a steel rail. Yep. Uh, and it's much lighter weight. So your swing weight is very little because the ski is so thin. So, you know, kind of by reducing the swing weight, lets you pivot, surf, butter a little bit more. Uh, and then tip and tail, we've got that 3D base. Yeah, it's a cool new product. It's all, all about the flexing, isn't it's, it? Yeah, the flex. <laughs> Ski all of our athletes will be on this year. Definitely oh, new, cool, exciting 116. I just bought the bench outlet, sorry, but uh, after having the Magnum Opus, and this looks like a pretty fun ski for me. I could see myself dropping some 180s and some flat fives, try to be a wannabe Pollard or one of my favorite athletes. <laughs> Alright, that's awesome. That looks sweet. What's up with the, they have some fancy materials on the inside? Uh, poplar ash, wood core, otherwise pretty standard layout. Uh, for us, just keeping it simple. This whole series, graphically designed by Madsties, yeah. friend of the brand. Uh, check them out. These are all huge, life-size murals. So, like, sides of buildings. Uh, these, are, really? these are massive, all graffiti. And so, took pictures of them and just transformed them into the skis. So, so you've got top sheets and bases. All done by and I must say something about the design. When I first saw photos of them, I thought they were too crazy. Because like the saturation in the, the photos I saw was too high. And uh, once I came here in person, they look actually pretty sick. And yeah, last night when I came home, I looked at a photo I took of them. I was like, oh my <laughs> god, they're too crazy again. But now I'm back and like, oh, that's not too crazy. They're pretty sweet, actually. It's good. And uh, is some one of your athletes using like this in the park? Yeah, 106 is kind of like a new, not new, but it's a wide ski for the yeah. park. But definitely a lot of our athletes are riding this as like their everyday ski yeah. and riding it in the park. Otherwise, the 96 is kind of where they, you know, where most of our athletes are riding. Yeah, that's 106 is quite a lot. 106, but it's buttery, it's playful, it's smooth. Yeah. But you can definitely press. Will we ever see some kind of race base on uh, our model ski? Well, I think we really like the loud bases. You're always in the air, you're getting pictures of the bottoms of your skis. So we like logos on park skis. Will you see race base? Yeah. So Hendrik's, Hendrik's new ski. Awesome. Yeah. I like race base, it's fast. So that was Hendrik's idea too. <laughs> he likes to be fast. He likes to be fast also. He goes pretty big. Yeah, yeah. This is Hendrik's new ski. Both of them. Who designed this one? I have no idea. You have no idea. The graphics? No idea. It's surprisingly stiff for him being quite a buttery guy. Yeah. Is it softer in the nose than the tail? Softer in the tip than the tail? Yeah. No. But yeah, that, that was that. kind of all for him. Yeah. Because that's uh, I don't I haven't seen him do many tail Is that why? 
I think that's with the bee dog. That's for Phil. All right. So Phil ski then is the kind of buttery pressable. Oh. This, you know, we really tried to keep the same shovel in both of these skis, mm -hmm. but make this one much, much softer. Yeah. So the the bee dog is kind of your buttery, pressy, slower speed smeary ski. Yeah. And your Idolo is like big air, huge tricks. You know, race base and then tip rocker. That lets him kind of do his nose butter. What was X Games nose yeah. butter triple. Triple 16 or something? I don't know. It's crazy dude. Um, Phil's is more the butter press tea. Now this one looks quite fun. Hmm. Yeah, this was brand new graphics this year. You know, Phil worked to design it last season, so... I would have expected a little bit wider, the ninth in this one. 90, he, you know, Phil does ski the Udolo a lot. So between the B-Dog and the Udolo, letting him have two different chassis, two different right. styles of skiing. So, kind of depending what he's doing, he's riding both of them, but right. really he's on his feet all the long. Would you, like a person new to freestyle, doing like 360s, 5s, how do you think these ones would be formed? I'd probably go B-Dog first. It's a little bit softer, it's easier to like learn to butter, learn to press. If you're, if you can press already and butter off of knolls and rollers, yeah. I think that's either one. You could upgrade the either So, that's maybe for me. That's more for you. That. Yeah, yeah. That or Magic Chain. Right. Oh, these ones are for me when I saw uh, Chains. Yeah. Sure. Right. I, I have Whenever. a moment. Yeah. All right. And then the, the normal size Fox keys. You like, know, if I'm feeling suddenly like double four kind of time, which one should I go? I'd go 96. Go, go a little 96. bit wider. Yeah. Why? I don't know. A little <laughs> bit more stable platform. This is just what our athletes, what they're yeah. requesting, what they're getting, what they're skating on. Yeah, everyone's at this size. I'm right now at the on a perfocal wall, so yeah. standard looking skinny yeah, face, yeah. Yeah. fast. Yeah. Skinny, yeah. And I'm quite intrigued to start riding the wider part. A little yeah. bit more stylish. Yeah, I need mean, to get more cooler. stylish than I get some shit in yeah. sometimes. Yeah. You would still push me towards this one rather than like this is a pretty normal looking freestyle ski. Yeah, I think. I mean, if you're confident on narrower skis, 86, yeah, by all means. Same construction really between these two, just a different waist width. So I think depending on the terrain you're in, mm -hmm. if you like slower, maybe more stylish airs, maybe 96, and more fast spins, yeah, your double corks, whatever, yeah. maybe more than 86. Which one is stiffer in the flex? Probably the. I don't know. I would guess they're about the same. I don't think we didn't we didn't try and make this one stiffer or softer than this one. So I think this is for the Svens out there. For Sven. Yeah, yeah sure. 1440 kind of guy. Less swing weight. Don't care so much about the butters maybe. And Definitely for buttering, B dog. <clears throat> More for all mountain freestyle jumps, figure, whatever. ARV. That's pretty pretty sweet. This one, is this one cheaper than the other? So Airv84 is the entry level. It's the first price point in this series. Yeah. Um, it's cap construction. Yeah. I think if you're new to the sport, Airv84 is an awesome choice. Yeah. Um, however, if you're going to be out there every single day, day in day, all season, sliding rails, you know, hitting jumps, I would go up to the 86, 96. Um, but for you know, getting into Armada, this is definitely an easy spot. But even if it's cheap, it seems a little bit stiff. I got a full camber, so it's not going to be that easy to butter. So maybe ask your mom and dad for a little bit more money and go for the ARV. I think that'd be a good choice. Absolutely. Why so much camber? <clears throat> I think just, I mean, it, it doesn't, it's a lot of camber, it looks like it, but it takes nothing to close it out. No. So it's not incredibly stiff camber, it's just keeps the ski, gives it good edge hold. These aren't just for buttering, they're not just for park. No. So to make them a more rounded all mountain ski, I mean, this is easy to do. Yeah. It's not a lot of resistance there. I can see how this one would uh, turn pretty well. I think we'll walk through most things. Yeah. We'll come back, you know, go ski on all these. Right. Show us what you think. That would be fun. I uh, would we'll be happy to try them. Especially this one, I'm really curious about it. Yeah, we would compare to what I've been skiing in the last two seasons, the Ben Chetler and the Magnum Opus, yep. and see if this one is just as fun. What's the turning radius? 18 meter. 18 meter. <laughs> well, I think I would like this one. Yeah. I like the short turning radius on powder skis. Uh, yeah, I think you can uh, turn it off.